I want to do this um, sort of lecture on, so there's this, there's this quote that I'm starting to develop myself. I think I heard it from somebody else, but it basically goes this way. You are the consequence of your environment, but you are also the architect of it. You know, everything that you are, everything that you do and believe, basically all you are is uh, the consequence of your environment. Like stuff in your environment, like your parents influence you to become this way. Your living situation, you're born in the United States most likely if you're watching this. That influenced you who you are. The friends you have around you influenced you. What you consume online influences you. So you are a consequence of your environment, but you also get to choose how your environment's set up. So a good way for me to illustrate this real quickly, the point that I'm trying to make is, you know how gravity is always there. Basically, the whole system, your whole body is set up to resist gravity. Gravity is always there. It's like the one thing that's always occurring in nature is gravity. You're always being pulled down by gravity. When you see like an old person, you know, with their like face sagging, that's kind of, you see gravity starting to win on them. But anyways, gravity is always there and it's pulling you towards something. Your environment, it's like your environment around you is like gravity. You're always being pulled towards something. Like um, if we, a good example of this, let's say we had, <laughs> I'm trying not to copy the the guy I heard this from. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. I'm trying to teach something. It's not about plagiarism. It's about how I teach it. <laughs> Alright. So, imagine that we put some random Joe in, like, a, a high school swim team thing. We put him, and he just has all day, every day, he has to spend his time inside, of, like, at this pool where the high school kids are, like, training for swim team or whatnot. We put the him in this, and he's going to sit there, and you know what I can say straight off the bat, if he's going to spend all his time there, is that he is going to end up swimming, he's going to end up, like, getting good at swimming, and you know how I can say this, it's because his environment is always pulling him towards that choice of, like, swimming, because he's being influenced by his environment around him, he's seeing the pool's always there, people are always swimming, he might, like, stay on land. He might refuse to get in the water for, like, a year or whatever. A long-ass time. But eventually, his discipline, his discipline, mind or whatever, it's going to start to give away. And he's going to start to, you know, get in the water. He's going to be like, you know what, I'm tired of this. I'm just going to do that. Your environment's always dragging you to do some sort of choice. Your environment's always dragging you towards this being this sort of person like an example of this is ha uh, having a tv in your bedroom you're way more likely to watch tv if you have a tv in your bedroom versus if you didn't you see how your environment's dragging you to um the action of watching more tv if you didn't have that tv in your room you wouldn't so your your environment's dragging you pulling you like gravity you know having junk food in your house is going to make you be a less healthier person. You're more likely to eat junk food if you have in your house versus if you just only have healthy food in your house. You can't eat healthy. You can't eat unhealthy if you only have healthy food. <laughs> so you need to set up your environment and prone your environment so it's gravitatingly gravitating you towards success. You know, hanging around the right people. You know, right now, me talking to you is I'm becoming a part of your environment because you're watching me, like, on your cell phone. And now I'm a part of your environment and I'm dragging you towards becoming this more better, successful person. So I'm now a part of your environment influencing you. Now it's your choice to change your environment, to set it up. You know, of course, there's going to be some of you who might not be able to change that. Some parts of your environment you can't change. Like, if you have to live with a drug addict, like, that's when you're going to have to start to use discipline to resist what your environment's putting you, influencing you towards doing. 
if you have to live with somebody who eats healthy, like, I don't know, your parents are morbidly obese, and you're constantly dragged towards eating that way, you're going to have to use discipline for those situations. But just for the things that you can influence about your environment, you should change them. Even if it's like the apps on your phone, changing the apps, maybe deleting the social media, deleting the music, all that noise, deleting the bad shit off your phone, all the games. Like changing your room. Maybe if you have a TV in your room, like we said before, maybe take that down. If you want to play less video games, put uh, sell your PS4. <laughs> Just changing up your environment is going to change you. So we're always being dragged towards being a certain person based off our environment. Just like gravity is always dragging you. S set up your environment and prone your environment so you're always being dragged to success. That's, uh, that's the advice I have for you in today's video. Thank you for watching.